Hello. What's up? What's going on? Welcome to your English persona here in Promo Stereo. Every Monday at 10 o'clock sharp. We're so happy to have you over. I'm your friend, Coach Adolf. Practice, practice, practice. It's, it's great, greatness. Hello, my friends. Happy, happy Monday to you. I am so happy that we can be together once again this lovely, lovely day. It's a new day. It's the new beginning of a week and also of a new month. And I'm so happy to be with you guys live here all the way from Mexico City on Promo Stereo in this great family of Orbe Network. You know, for me, it's so important to bring this practice to you guys here in Mexico City because for me, it's like a thank you to this country that has given me a lot, you know? You guys, I am from Belize. I was born in the country of Belize, but I have lived half of my life here in Mexico City. And um, I cannot be more grateful and thankful to this lovely nation that has always um, given me everything that I am today. And that's why for me coming here on this beautiful platform that this great family offers me, for me it's a privilege and that's why I take a lot of importance, you know, for this platform, for this program. The name of this platform is called Your English Persona or Your English Persona in our more business um, colloquial way of speaking. And it's about we starting to find that English persona in us. You know, we all have our personality, you know, the way we do things. But as a coach, as a teacher, I have noticed that everybody's unique and different. And for me, it's very important to promote this, for you to have your own English persona, for you to, sp to speak the way you would like in a very friendly and practical way, because that is what people are looking forward to. Not if you pronounce correctly or if you have a correct grammar usage. You know, it's not about that. It's about how you express yourself, your feelings, and the message each and every time. Today is our master class number six, you know, and today we want to talk about win-win. What do I mean by win-win? Win-win means that you are not just getting English, my friends. You are really getting your goal. You are really potentializing your clarity in life. You're clear that you want to speak English, that you want to be bilingual or polyglot. You are working with your attention. You are working with your focus. You are working with your perseverance, with your belief. That's why for me, it's a win-win. You're not just getting English. You're getting to be better because after you become maybe a C1 or a C2 level English, you're not just going to have that. You're going to achieve a goal. You're going to transform yourself into a great speaker, into a person that pays attention, into a person that really wants to get what he or she wants. And that's why for me, it's a win-win. So you have to be ready with a good attitude. You have to be ready with good emotional intelligence. You have to be open for challenges, for adversities. And that means that Maybe sometimes you will be embarrassed to speak in front of somebody. Maybe you will not feel comfortable or you will feel lack of confidence. But that's part of the game, my friends. Okay? So that is what we're talking about, win-win. You know, I like to inspire people. I like to motivate my students. And for me, trying to accompany you as a coach is for me to bring a change in this language in Mexico. My contribution, the way I believe I can help. And what I think that we should start to do is to find a new cause so that we can have a better effect. Because many times we want to learn English, but we're using the same cause. 
the same cause that maybe it's difficult, the same cause that maybe I can only write and read, but I cannot speak. So we need to change that mindset little by little. And for me, it's about little by little, you starting to know that you have to start to be responsible for your English. You have to know that there are concepts that we have to follow the criteria. And the criteria is for us to find a lot of words. Pay attention to the sounds, to the stress that we give to the words, to the phrases, to the chunks of parts of a sentence, and then to the sound that we produce, the intonation. And that is fundamental for us to go through. But for me today, it's about me giving you all the tips that you guys need to have and that you in your own time, in your own space, you can practice by yourself. You can do the work in your own time, in your own space, and the way you want. And I can even give you the videos, you know, and teach you at the beginning how you can do it. So we teachers don't have to teach anymore. You students will find the way to understand the concepts. So if I, if I tell you, okay, my friends, at the beginning what you need to find are words or phrases that, that express um, Ex that express emotions and feelings. They're called in English interjections, like, good morning, thanks, hi, how is it going, congratulations, good job, thumbs up. All of these are interjections, and now you know it. But your job will, go, will be to go to the platforms that we have today, that is like our library, like YouTube or Google, and you can just type in interjections, and there will be a bunch of videos and a bunch of teachers, and you guys can just go there and select the best teacher you identify yourself with that you understand, and then you start to um, you start to practice by yourself the way you want with the teacher you want, at the time that you can, the place that you would like, and the way and the rhythm that you would like to do it. You see, my friends, it's a very disruptive and different way to do things today in life. You know, and that is my contribution for you today. Today I have a lot of coaches and students that follow my guidance because for me, it's fundamental that you guys or we win. Win-win. You win by getting your goals, and I win by being a better trust, trusted coach and trusted teacher. You know, because that is what people are looking for. People that they trust. People that they know that will give them results. And I have been a teacher for more than 20 years in Mexico. I started from zero not because I come from Belize, I am a teacher. I had to study, and even today I'm doing a diplomado in Mexico online, you know, to, to be a business top executive business teacher. So it's about constantly improving ourselves and finding that way to be better. We cannot expect people to just bring everything for us. You know, my friends, we have to be very independent, self-learn, self-taught in life. Because if we depend on somebody, maybe many times we're going to use those people's ideas, those people's concepts, and not ours. That's why you have to go the long way. And the long way is part of the law of life, the laws of God, the laws of the universe. They are not rules. You don't have to do anything. You know, you do it because you know that there will be good results because your causes are followed by laws and principles that you know that you have to follow and you have to comply by. And it's not just in English or in our goals. It's in everything that we do in life. 
from the way we think, from the way we believe. If we don't believe in ourselves, then we are not going with the laws. If we don't believe that we can speak English, then we are not going with the law. And the law means you trust, you have faith, you hope for the best, and you know you will get the results that you want because it's the law of God. Okay, my friends, change today from rules to laws. And laws is the smart way. It's the intelligent and wise way to live today. You know, tell yourself today, every day, I have to do this, not because I want, but because it's a law and I trust in it. And it's like that, my friends, in every way. So for me, win-win means that if you use the laws, the right way to do the things, you will get your goal. I mean, whenever you are ready to speak English, you have to say, am I ready? Because if I'm not ready, I'm not following the law. I am following the rule. I have to. So you always check and question yourself. Am I connected with the law right now? Or the laws right now? Or am I connected with rules that are going to limit me? That are going to make me feel bad? That are going to make me give up? While the laws will tell you, take it easy. Go step by step. Use a friendly and practical approach. And that is what we have to do more and more. Because it's our goals. It's our life. It's what we want to obtain in life, my dear friends. You know? And I tell you with experience. Because we coaches continue being students of life. We never finish. In the contrary, we have to be the example of how we have to continue innovating ourselves, reactualizing ourselves, reprogramming ourselves, retelling ourselves a new story. Not, to, not people, ourselves, my friends. Okay? And that is the way that we express our true greatness. So win-win with English today. When you are working with your English, say, hey, I'm not just working on English. I'm working to pay attention. I'm working to be serious. I'm working to focus. I'm working to be practical, to be functional, to work with purpose, to do things with meaning. You know, and I apply faith to what I'm doing. And all of these concepts. But remember, in a very friendly and practical way. And for me, it's about familiarizing with the language, not studying the language. You don't study to ride a bicycle. A bicycle is an instrument or a tool of life. And we should call it by what it is. Yeah, a bicycle or riding a bicycle is not, is not a school subject, just as English. English should not be a school subject. It is a tool that we should be little by little paying attention to. Just like how you learn to speak Spanish, and seeing how your parents speak when you were a kid and you start to repeat what they say and maybe at the beginning you cannot say agua, you say wawa then you have to say agua, agua, agua until you can pronounce agua correctly the same thing with water you, the, the kids will say agua, water, water, things like that until they establish the word water or water or whatever sound we want to express. The idea is that we keep practicing and making mistakes. We have to make mistakes. And that is what a lot of people try to avoid and run away from, from the mistakes, not knowing that this is the place where is the opportunity. This is the place of growth. Every time that you are facing challenges in life, adversities in life, problems or situations, be grateful and say, wow, like what Coach Adolf said, this is where I'm going to be more powerful because this is where I'm going to get up and say, I'm not going to stay there. That is not me. That doesn't identify me. I am who I am, and I know who I am. And nobody has to tell you who you are but yourself, my dear friends. 
Win every day that you practice your English. Win every day that you start to invite English as a bilingual person in 2024. Win every time you practice by yourself and nobody has to tell you because you're doing it with the law of the universe. Win every time that you start to think in English because you know you're bilingual now, not just monolingual. Step up to your greatness. It's your life. Don't wait for nobody to tell you nothing or anything. You know, you have to make that step up. You have to make that change from inside, not only from outside. The big change and the big beginning starts from inside. My friends, always remember that. So, today I want to leave with you three important practices that you guys can apply. The first one is for you to start to take word by word and focus on their stress. Each word in English has a stress at the beginning. Look at the stress of the word. Practice it so that you can pronounce it beautiful. For example, beau, beau, beautiful. You see, when you say you are beautiful, you see, you express beautiful correctly. You stress on beau. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. You see, find the stress in each word so that you can have more confidence. Me, Mexico, or Mexi, Mexi, Mexico. You see, we can change the way we pronounce today by finding the stress in each word. Esta, esta. Establishment. This is a great establishment we are in right now. It's a place of stars. The moment that you enter in this establishment, you become an automatic star. Because we are orb of light. We are surrounded by people that have light. And that's why you will always see me speak like this anytime I come here to this great establishment. Establishment. To this great establishment, great, great, great. To this, to this, you see? Even you can join the phrases together or the words together and you create the sound of that phrase. You see, you see, you, you, you see? And that is the way we should start to practice, okay? Find the stress in every word or find the stress in the combination of words and practice it more and more. You can go to YouTube and find stress of words in English. Just type, in, type it in like that. And you will get lots of videos with lots of teachers. Find your favorite teacher. You know, there's lots of them. It's abundance. Oh my God, my friends. And then practice it, okay? Because that is key. The next practice that I would like also to leave with you guys is about you guys starting to pay attention to the intonation, to the intonation of the words or the phrases, to the rhythm, to the melody that we put to the English language. So if I say, good morning, pay attention, good morning, it's like so cold, so straightforward. But if you say, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, you see the intonation? And that is what we have to start to do. Pay attention to the intonation. Pay attention to the intonation that native speakers use. You know, I would like to just make a little pause here and express a beautiful um, video that I saw from this great Chinese businessman from China. You guys maybe know him. His name is Jack Ma. Jack Ma is the founder of Alibaba. He's a great man of, you know, bringing people together and make great projects, you know, in long terms, not in short terms. And he expressed that the way that he spoke English, my friends, pay attention how. He said, I never had time to go to school and have the money to, to spend, to go to a good school. But one thing I knew is that I had a vision and that vision was for me to come and live in America, in USA. But I had to speak the language as well. But he said something 
that his grandmother taught him that we should always value, respect, and admire culture. And he said that he learned the American English by respecting the culture, by paying attention how the Americans speak. And he started to imitate them, imitate the way they speak. Today, he doesn't speak like an American with that accent, but he tries the best he can. Even today, he continues speaking and imitating them. And that is a great story because just by respecting cultures, you know, you can speak a language because you admire the culture, because you know that you will use it as a tool like Jack Ma, my friends. And this is everywhere. I have seen people that come from other countries in Mexico, and in two weeks they are already talking like Mexicans. ¿Qué onda, cuate? ¿Qué onda, wey? You know, uh, chale and things like that. And I say, oh, my God, they're better than me. But you know why they do it? Because they have to use that language to gain trust, to gain confidence from people. And that is life, my friends. And I believe that that's a great story from Jack Ma. So, yes, our third tip that I will leave for you this beautiful Monday, first Monday, first day of July 2024, my dear friends, here on Promestereo Radio. It is important for us to practice imitation. Imitate. Okay? Imitate or shadow how people speak. You know, Coach Adolf doesn't live in America. But every day of the week, I listen to great leaders, to great coaches, to great conferences, to great doctors, scientists, spiritual people. And I repeat sometimes when there's a phrase that I like, you know, or I write it down. Because for me, it's that I want to speak like that. I want to interact like that as well. So I don't have to live in New York or Atlanta, or Washington, or Tennessee, or Texas, or Houston, for me to speak English the way I speak today. Because today we have everything in our phones. We listen, and we repeat, and we imitate. So the third tip for, of the week is to imitate. Imita, amigo. Si dice la persona, hey, dude, to repeat this, hey, dude. Si dice la persona, what's up, buddy, to repeat this, what's up, buddy. Si dice la persona, see you later, to repeat this, see you later. Así es el imitation. That is the way we have to do it. Practice, practice, practice more and more. You can do it, my friends. You know, it's within us. All of this is called greatness. Remember that. Everything that you are today is called greatness. The greatness of our Creator, because we're just using what is available, what was given to us, and everything was given to us from within us. The way that you will speak English and establish your English persona is by you tapping into your greatness and say, wow, now I'm not just learning English. I'm learning to tap into my English like what Coach Adolf said. Win, win, my dear friends. And the people that are watching me in my country Belize live this morning, or listening to me, sorry, here on Promo Stereo Radio, I want to send this message to you. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter your environment. It doesn't matter your family. It doesn't matter your social, social economical status. It's about when you get conscious and know who you are and who you represent, then you will truly get all your goals. And for my people here in Mexico, I will tell you, you cannot just speak English. You can speak a lot of languages. You know, check, check what thoughts and what beliefs you have of English. Because many times, those thoughts, those beliefs that you can't, that it's hard, they're ingrained. They're ingrained into your DNA. They're ingrained into your genetics, 
into your culture. And you have to go in a friendly, in a very holistic and spiritual and grateful way and say, yes, thank you, but this is my life. This is my life. This is my story. And I decide if I want to speak English. Not if my great, 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 great grandparents said, oh no, estamos en México, no lo necesitamos. No, my friends. We should not think just for ourselves. We should think for everybody. Every time that we go about in life expressing ourselves, we should know that it's transmitting a message, good or bad. And there's a lot of people that don't understand. So we should be careful and be more conscious how we talk and how we express ourselves, you know? So I thank you for this lovely, lovely day. I thank you for always liking this video for all your views. I know that today we have so much videos out there, you know, and it's not about the likes. It's about the people that view us. And I know that thousands are viewing this live right now. And thousands will watch it afterwards. And I will tell you this as a life coach, as a teacher. To work on goals. Because work, goals, sorry, keeps you alive. Keeps you active. Keep you moving. So if this is one of your goals today, to be bilingual or to be polyglot in English, do it, my friends. And congratulations. This is your space, your English persona, with your friend, Coach Adolf. Have a lovely day and a lovely new month. Get all your goals and have a lovely day. Thank you. See you next time. Goodbye. Thank you, thank you, thank you, your English persona. Practice is what we need. Every time you practice, you make a difference. Your English, English persona. persona. Coach Adol.